Hey everyone, I wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons, but first off, I wanted to thank everybody for their continued support on the channel. I had absolutely no idea that a YouTube channel that was solely devoted to making fishing guides for Final Fantasy XIV would garner so much support, but here we are almost at 500 subscribers in just a little under a year. And I, I see so much discussion and people helping each other, asking questions and sharing their own discoveries in the comments, and I love it. Please keep being awesome. And again, thank you for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, on to the state of the channel stuff. Going into Endwalker, you may have noticed that I've moved into a two video a week schedule. I am very confident that I will be able to keep that. I am a bit busy just because I am going to be going back to university to finish a master's degree. So if I end up missing a video or two a week, know that is probably why I apologize in advance and I am pretty confident that I'll be able to do at least two videos a week. In terms of the content that you can expect, my priorities for video guides have focused mostly on the expansion Legendary Fish. I'm specifically tracking Charbonnet, Xenocanthus, and Romdiloptorus as the next three major fish that I'm going to get, along with Cinder Surprise from uh, Shadowbringers. So expect those guides out before Endwalker, hopefully, if I can catch them. In terms of non-fish catching guides, I am going to be doing a suite of basics guides, so talking about patience and mooching and how those skills work, because we get a lot of questions about those in the Fishers Discord, and I want to have videos on those going into Endwalker so that there is a good uh, battery of knowledge. For Endwalker's release itself, I will be breaking my two a week schedule and I will just be pumping out videos as much as I can as we discover where the relevant fish are. And the relevant fish will be leave fish, quest fish, and probably the common tier rare fish. So that would be kind of like the Apoke of Shadowbringers or Sculptor of Stormblood. As I find those, I will record them and I will put them out as quickly as I can, uh, as soon as I can. Now there's a handful of questions that I get asked a lot in the comments that I, instead of individually answering the questions, I'm going to answer them here. So first off, uh, I get asked a lot less than you would think, but it's a big enough question that I'm going to answer it anyways. And that is, will I be using voice in my guides? The quick answer is, I don't know. It takes a while to edit audio down, like it's another hour or two of work. So I want to make sure that I'm able to make these guides as quick as possible, just because I'm already pretty busy. So if I can find a way to do it quicker, then maybe we'll start seeing it. On top of that, there are a handful of fishers who are deaf and the current style of guide is accommodating to them, and it's very important to me that my videos are as accessible as possible. Without a solution for captions, I'm not yet ready to add voice to my guides until I can get that caption solution figured out, and I'm not a fan of YouTube's auto-generated captions because they're pretty crappy. Another question I get asked often is, will you make non-guide content? And I'm looking into it, I don't know exactly what it will be. The Fishers Discord have put together this little challenge called the No GP Challenge, where we go and basically re-catch fish without using any GP skills, which basically just limits us to mooch, cast, and hook. And that's been actually kind of fun. I've enjoyed it a bit. It's a, it's a little bit of a, a challenge. So I might be doing a video on that. If you have any ideas of videos that you'd like to see that aren't guide-based, uh, let me know. The one caveat is I would like them to be slightly educational so that people are coming away from my videos actually learning something new. That would be kind of my one criteria for that. Do I stream? I am equipped to stream. I have done it in the past for fishing. 
I'm currently trying to decide if I want to stream on Twitch or if I want to stream on YouTube. I'm testing both of those out and whenever I decide like I'm going to stream, you'll start seeing that in the descriptions of all the videos. At the moment though, I don't plan to do so regularly. So yeah, I might, but don't consider it as a regular thing. And lastly, the question that I get asked the most often, like two or three times a week, is what is my favorite fruity snack? The answer to that is Welch's Island Flavors. Uh, this is like a, it's like a tropical mix of fruity snacks. It's really nice. But if we start including like all gummy candies, then Lifesaver Gummies and Haribo Gummy Gold Bears start moving up into that first place slot. I didn't think I've actually ever had like a fruit snack or a gummy snack that I've not liked. So that's everything. If you have any more questions or comments or concerns, just let me know in the comments of my video. And again, thank you so much. Happy fishing.